guys, I'm Kay and you have arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I am a part-time reseller on both Poshmark and eBay. It's been a hot minute since I last did a video, um, but it is 2020 and this year has just went in the crapper real quick. So back in March, uh, like most of you parents, my daughter ended up doing remote uh, school. So I've been dealing with that on top of my full-time job and everything else. And then when she was off on summer break, I crossed off my number one thing on my goals list for this year and I bought a house. So this setup behind me looks a little bit different than if you've seen previous videos. So now she's back in school and I'm dealing with this all over again. She will be fully remote for the entire 2020-2021 school year. Um, I'm sure most of you who have kids are dealing with the same stuff or they're doing hybrid or maybe they're all the way back in school. But I mean, hey, if you're watching this from the future and you're looking to time travel, zero out of 10, maybe negative two out of 10, don't come back to 2020 because it sucks. <laughs> so anyhow, today I have a Goodwill bins or Goodwill outlet haul for you. I did two rounds at my local bins which are the new hampshire bins and i got 60 pounds of stuff it was about 85 dollars i think between the two rounds um if you're interested to know how the bins work in new hampshire uh, feel free to leave a comment down below or send me a dm on instagram i'll leave that in the description box and also try to write it at the bottom of the screen if i remember when i'm editing um but let's get right into it because it's a lot of stuff and it's cold. It's actually snowing right now. It's October 30th and it's snowing. And this is my favorite time of year because Halloween is my favorite. Um, so it's kind of crappy that it's snowing right now, but oh well, um, let's hop right into it. And if you're interested in anything in this haul, please feel free to send me an email or a DM or get in touch with me somehow. I'm always responsive to my comments. All right, so this is gonna be random, but I got this bag of nautical rope. I was just watching a DIY video on YouTube and um, I think it was like the DIY couple. If I can remember, I'll put their uh, video link in the description, but they made this rainbow out of nautical rope from the dollar store and I happened to see this in a bin, so I'm gonna do something with that similar to that rainbow. I also picked up some bubble wrap because it's essentially like free bubble wrap at the bins since it weighs nothing. So I'll use this for my packaging of hard goods. I also found these wooden, I think they're like salad tossers. Sorry, my cat is running around like a crazy person. Um, but they have turtle shells engraved on them. It's been a while since I've done this, so if things don't focus, I apologize. I'm a little out of my game here. And then I also found this teak salad bowl set. If you've seen the thumbnail for this video, you'll have seen this in there. It had, I don't, I think this is a fork. I don't know, some kind of utensil. And four of the small individual bowls. They're not marked on the bottom, but I know they're definitely teak and they were all scattered throughout this one bin. So I found the big serving bowl first. And I'm like, oh, I've been looking for one of these. I hope the bowls are there. I saw one and I'm like, I'm gonna find the other three. And I did, it took me a little bit, but I'm super excited about that. Like I said, she's running around like a crazy person. Um, I got this basket. It's very shallow, but this is gonna be used for a basket wall because if you don't know, I'm like addicted to baskets right now. Um, I got myself a book. This is Crazy Rich Asians. I've been wanting to watch the movie, but um, I'm one of those people who won't watch the movie until they've read the book if there is one. So I'm hoping I can get through this quickly and then watch the movie. I got some black macrame cord, again, for some DIY projects. Couple baskets. This one's for Liv's room. She is opening up an Etsy shop, and so I wanted to get her um, some baskets so she can keep all of her supplies and her completed um, items in here so that it doesn't look so cluttered in her room. I promise this is the last basket, but I got this one for myself. I use these in the bathroom closet so we can easily pull things in and out and also in the laundry room so I can keep my paints, um, tools, all kinds of random stuff in here and it doesn't look so cluttered. 
All right, now let's get into the actual clothes and shoes and junk. I have a bag of bags. So this backpack is a Victoria's Secret pink backpack. Um, I don't bring bags with me when I go to the bins because I don't want to pay for something I already own and I always find bags in the bins that I could use to just put whatever I'm purchasing in. Um, so that one is one. This is just an Urban Outfitters bag. I usually include this with um, some clothes purchases when people buy from Poshmark. If they buy something Urban Outfitters, I'll throw it in this bag and then put it in the packaging. This is a Coach wristlet it's just a flap opening um, some card slots inside it's in pretty good shape this was just at the bottom of a random clothes bin this is a uh, Vera Bradley sorry I'm so not into this right now uh, um, cosmetic case it's lined on the inside also in really good shape I haven't looked up comps for most of this stuff, so I'm sorry if I don't give you prices. This is a Disney Parks tote with a little Mickey. Inside's clean. It just has one zip pocket, and then the inside is just open was the word I was looking for. If this is the first video of mine you're watching, I apologize in advance. I swear I'll get better. This is a Columbia, like, crossbody bag it's nylon I believe um, flaps open I don't know if this even does well with bags but I know I like Columbia stuff personally their clothing and stuff and then the last little purse item is this fully beaded frog coin pouch I just couldn't leave this in the bins because it was so cute so I'm hoping someone will want it and if not I'll I don't know, give it to Livy or something. It's C. Marie on the inside. I don't know if that's like a vintage brand or never heard of it, but it was cute. Okay, shoes. So these are just some little kids, Nike Hirachis. They're pretty dirty, but I figure they're kids. They're gonna trash them anyway. So if I can't clean them up, then I'll just sell them as play condition. These are four and a half youth. I'm not sure why nobody grabbed these, but these are born boots. They have like a burnished toe, side zippers, ankle booty. These are F542 and they're size seven. So I'll just look up the F number and hopefully that will give me the style name. Next we have some Boggs boots. I always pick these up if they're in good condition. I usually twist the bottoms to make sure they're not breaking anywhere. Um, they're in pretty good shape. They're like a mossy oak type of camouflage print. And these are Youth One Classic Real Tree. Same difference really. These are Merrells, again, usually pick these up if they're in good shape and especially at the bins. These are the Grandeur. They're size nine. I couldn't leave these behind because they were just too adorable. So these are Tevas or Tevas, however you choose to pronounce them, and they have fire engines on them. Obviously little kids and these are a size nine so a little kid's nine next i have some vionics this brand does okay for me the footbeds are dirty but otherwise they're in good shape they're just like a flip-flop sandal with embellishments And last but not least for shoes, these are pretty bulky, so I assume that's why people left them behind in the bins, because otherwise they're just dirty. And these are Hoka 1-1s, which is normally a running shoe, but I've never found Hoka 1-1s. They do have Vibram soles, so that's what made me look at them when I saw them in the bin. Um, they're a pretty big size. They're a size 13, and 
It looks like they have keen insoles in here. So I was looking at them and it thought it looked odd. So these are keen insoles, arch bridge, and the regular insole is missing. So that might take away some of the value. But I did look on comps, uh, look up comps on these and they were um about 125 with shipping on ebay so i don't know why my voice just went up like that but anyways i'm hoping i can still get a decent amount of money i mean my cost of goods for this whole haul was a dollar 12 i think per item so at a dollar 12 even if i can get 80 to 100 dollars off of those that would be great and would basically pay for the whole haul all right, so that's all shoes. Now we'll move into clothes. Again, sorry if I'm going fast. I'm just trying to get this done within a reasonable amount of time. All right, first we have Carhartt. This is just a basic short sleeve tee, and it's a size extra large. Here's the tag. Carhartt does pretty well for me. It's a very popular, like, working gear uh, brand. I can't speak. This is Under Armour, size extra large, and it's just a waffle knit, neon color. This is my life. Um, next is Urban Outfitters. This is just their house Urban Outfitters brand. If you can see that, size mm, large. And it's just a chunky knit pullover sweater sorry if you can't get the whole look I'm going for here because there's not enough space I had to move my coffee table out so I could sit on the floor next is an anthropology brand this is moth I'm not going to show you the tag because it always curls up on me and it just doesn't ever come out the right way but this is new without tags the buttons are still attached in a little plastic bag on this but this is a very long duster cardigan it has pockets uh it is sheer but it's like a pretty ivory color this is a size large also which is great because anthropology sizes usually only find extra small or small this is a catalog brand this is sundance size large focus and it's just a little button front cardigan with this embroidery. I got quite a few pieces from this brand. Um, I did look at all the tags, make sure they were recent. This is American Eagle Soft and Sexy Plush. I personally love their Soft and Sexy line. This one's not for me because pink's not my color, but it's like a, a pink v-neck short sleeve with the little cuff sleeves. This is one of my favorite brands to find, especially in the bins. This is Patagonia. This is a women's medium. It does need to be sweater shave, which I assume is why someone might have left it. But it is like a quarter zip wool pullover. I've never um, picked up this sub brand before, but um, this is, I think that's AK and it's says Burton underneath but part of it is rubbed off and this is an extra small but it's um, a down filled puffer jacket and it's packable this is the first time I've ever picked up a bra from the bins but I see people do it all the time and I figured I might as well try it out this is Victoria's Secret I don't know what the style is, but it's a 34 double D. These are a fail, and I was a little bit excited about these, even though they're just J. Crew, which I don't pick up a lot of J. Crew. Um, but at the bins, I will try it out. And these are an extra small. They're actually from summer 2020, which is great. Obviously, that's recent. They're a linen cropped pant, but I didn't notice in the bins because everything moves so quickly in there now that you only have a certain amount of time to shop but they do have a few bleach stains so maybe I'll try and weasel a couple dollars out of them next is another urban outfitters again just their house brand size small 
and this is like a little completely see-through short sleeve crop top with this pretty embroidered floral pattern i figured this would be good for coachella which didn't happen this year but that's a story for another day these are burton these are their durable goods line they're just a little pair of shorts they're very soft size extra small And this next one, a lot of outdoor stuff since it's New Hampshire. Um, this is the North Face. This is a men's, I believe. Yep, men's extra large. It needs a shave, but it's just a black quarter zip pullover. I used to love this brand when I was in high school. I only shopped there. This is Hollister, size small. I hate when people say that they don't pick up a brand and then they show the brand in their haul, but in this case I usually don't. Um, but this was really cute. It's like a little off-shoulder drop waist dress. Is it a dress? Nope. I lied. It's a romper, but it's still cute. It's like lacy and the arms are fully lace. I did get a lot of athletic wear this time at the bins. These are a newer pair of Athleta leggings and these are fleece lined leggings, which is great for the upcoming winter season. These are an extra small and they're like an olive green color moto style legging. I don't really know anything about this brand, but I figured it was new in package and Christmas is coming up. This is called Hooked Up Shapewear. I don't know if that will focus for you, but um, these are a, it's like a slip, I believe, and it's a plus size. So I thought that might do well. We'll see how that goes. This is a, another Patagonia. Come on focus all right doesn't want to focus but you guys know what the patagonia label looks like this is a men's i believe it doesn't specify but it's a medium and it looks like a men's size but if not maybe i can keep it for myself but i also like money this is a full zip jacket i have plans for this i don't know if they'll actually come to fruition but we'll see how that goes this is an older Nike logo brand label. It says athletic department with the Nike swoosh and it's just a hoodie plane. Uh, it does have some fading slash bleach marks along the line of the hood, um, but that's okay for what I'm gonna use it for. More on that at another time. This is another activewear brand. It's Aloe Yoga. I'll show you the logo down at the bottom if it'll focus for you. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's Aloe Yoga. Let's see. Here's, let's try the inside tag. This is size medium. That's better. And it's just a little strappy tank top with a built-in bra, and the bra is out and about right now something like that and then I also got this vintage Adidas here is the tag sorry for my grubby fingers in the way but it's just a full zip athletic jacket with the three stripes and the it's black with red stripes all right, this is for my daughter. She's big into space right now. She wants to be an astronomer. So I got her this for Christmas. It's just Old Navy size medium. It has the NASA logo on the front and then the back has the Kennedy Space Center. I thought she would like that. This is also for her. She is into Pokemon as well. And these are the Evolutions. So I'll wash that and give it to her for Christmas. Um, I won't show you the whole of this shirt. Sorry, I got it. I'm sitting on my legs and they're starting to go numb. But I again, I won't show you the whole sweatshirt because it has a swear on the bottom. And if you know me in real life, I have a potty mouth. So I do swear, but I try to keep it off my channel because not everybody likes that. Uh, so it says friendly 
mother and then something that rhymes with trucker at the bottom but i just thought it was funny and it's by the brand you can't see it because it's faded but i know it's called buy me brunch because some dude bro donated like their whole crude graphic tee I don't know collection to this bin and they were all together so I know that's what it is like I said you won't be able to see. okay sorry if the angle changed a little bit my camera ran out of storage space so I'm gonna try and fly through these next one these this is American Eagle it's just a little cropped boho floral embroidered top this is out from under for urban outfitters and it's just a white long sleeve v-neck it is a size small this is new with tags it's the only reason why i picked it up because christmas is coming it's a stick stitch fix brand called mix by 41 hawthorne i have sold 41 hawthorne before but it's just an open front cardigan This is another J. Crew, 100% uh, linen. That's the only reason I picked it up. And it's a size large blue v neck with a pocket. I just sold one of these in camo print, so I figured I would try this. This is Polo Ralph Lauren, men's size extra large, and it's a bright yellow waffle knit with the Polo logo. I thought someone might like this because the logo is so large and people like that. It's another Polo Ralph Lauren, but this is a um, size large and it's black with the large embroidered logo. It says three on the sleeve. This is Lucky Brand. I don't do the best with Lucky Brand, but at the bins, I can't say no. This is an extra, extra large men's. I don't know if that focus for you. This is a slim fit flannel with the snap, pearl snap front. All right, third time's the charm. I had to go and delete some stuff again, so let's hope this is the last time. Again, apologies if the angle changed. Um, as I was saying, I did look this one up. Both comps I saw on eBay were sold for $50. I believe one was $49.95 and the other one was $51 plus shipping. So if I can get that, that would be great. On a bin's fine. This is Disney Parks. And this is just a short sleeve graphic tee. It has Figment the Dragon on it with the spell out. I don't know if it's a rare shirt and that's why people are getting $50 for it. But hey, if someone wants to pay me $50, I'm more than happily take it. This is cut from the cloth size 10. And these are just a linen pant, brown, straight leg, kind of like a wide straight leg. People like linen. I know this is not the season for it, but I'll take what I can get. This is We the Free, Free People, size small. Free People doesn't do the greatest for me. Um, but it's like an oversized because everything is oversized at free people um, it's like a thermal material but it's really soft and it has a turtleneck cow neck one of those necks to be honest I don't really bother with the specifics most of the time but I still sell stuff so it's fine this is denim and supply Ralph Lauren size large I just picked this up because it's kind of like festival boho with these large bat wing sleeves in the embroidery this is another north face this is men's double xl and this is just like a dry fit long sleeve black another good outdoors brand this is marmot size medium i believe this is a women's because i don't see a men a men a man wearing this lime green color it's very a uh, fuzzy and not the kind of fuzzy that i like but hey to each their own it's just a full zip jacket i found a lot of this brand in the same bin so someone probably donated all of them this is a size large I'm not honestly too sure about these because they're very like creamy white and it's like leggings with the skirt. 
I'm not feeling it, but somebody else might. You can't see this brand uh, tag because the label has rubbed off, but I knew what it was from the back logo. It's Kalia by Carrie Underwood. I have good luck with this brand. I don't know how I'll sell these without the size tag, but I'll just measure them. I don't seem to be able to have a problem with that. It happens all the time with Lulu when they don't have a size in the pocket, but these are like a sweatpant with the elastic at the bottom. If nobody wants them, I'll just wear them. Again, another Disney Parks. This one's a double XL. I think this one might be men's. I already showed you the logo, so I won't show you again. I haven't looked up the comps on this one, but this is the three Caballeros. This is another Burton. Like I said, New Hampshire always has a lot of outdoor gear. This is a dry ride, size extra small. And it has this, I think this is um, Switzerland, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I haven't been there personally, but I'm pretty sure that it is. And it's just plain on the back. This is a Lucky Brand graphic tee, size extra small. Logo's kind of faded. And it's Tequila Sunrise, or just another Tequila Sunrise. And it says Tijuana, Mexico. And then the back of the neck has this. I seem to do pretty well with those. This is another recent American Eagle. This one is a newer tag and it's part of their amazingly soft size small. It is very soft and I have a hair in my mouth. Sorry about that. <laughs> and it's a cropped striped hoodie. trying to make sure I didn't get my lip gloss on the clothes so apologize all right I know I said this already in this video but I really do hate when people say they don't pick up a brand and then they're like here here it is but I have literally never picked up this brand before in my life but I just trusted my gut on the style because I thought it was kind of funky and cool this is cold water creek size extra grande and it's a velvet blouse it's very dark like paisley print and it does have a button front and i thought it would be cool especially for the fall i think this is my last disney piece uh disney parks again size extra large and this one i believe would be from epcot because it has the beer the beer garden Yep, it says Epcot on the back. So someone went to Germany, had some beer, bought the t-shirt, and then donated it. This is another Lucky Brand piece. This is Distinctive Western Sports Fair, Sports Wear. And a size double X to Grande again. Pearl snap front. It's not flannel material, but it's it's more of like a casual button-down material I'm getting there I promise this is banana Republic size medium it's a recent piece and I just thought it was cute it's like a little faux wrap front sleeveless blouse obviously not the season for it but I buy stuff year-round I don't just buy because it's seasonal this is urban outfitters brand silence and noise size medium if anything this will go to thread up and it's like a long tunic length top short sleeve can you tell i'm super descriptive with my um descriptions this is another lucky brand size medium i promise i'm better than this i'm just out of my game and it just has a pineapple on the front these next two are the same pair of pant in different colors. They're Prana, size small. I, I don't know what material this is. It's very swishy feeling. Straight leg pant, and then they're in gray as well. Same size. Prana has a style name, so I'll look them up and hopefully be able to better describe them to someone. 
This is a great outdoors brand if you don't already know. It's Ibex. The first time I ever found it was in the bins and then I think I found it one other time in the thrift store. It always sells fast. This is a medium in women's and it's just a striped open front cardi. Couple more things. This might be the last Lucky Brand piece. I found a lot of Lucky today. Here is the inner tag here. And these are a men's camo short size 36 waist. American Eagle, soft and sexy plush. There's nothing super exciting in this haul, so I'm sorry. But bread and butter sells. This is just a long sleeve shirt, color block. Last clothing piece. It's another Burton, size extra small. This label is a little different from the other ones I've shown you in this haul, and it's just a purple spell out hoodie. And then the last thing I got is this guy right here, and let me tell you, when I felt this thing in the bins, I knew it was going to bring it home regardless of what it was. And don't come for me in the comments because I didn't buy this originally. I'm trying to save it from the landfill. It's rabbit fur, 100% silky soft rabbit fur, and I don't want to give it up, but I'm going to sell it anyways because I'm not cool with animal fur, but this is Adrian Landau, never heard of her. I just went based off feel. It's got these little fringes. I tried to look up comps on eBay. There were only a few listed, not the same one, not in this color. Um, and they were listed pretty high, I'm talking 250 to 400 plus dollars. There was one sold for a rabbit blanket, Wasn't again, wasn't this one, and that one was, I believe, close to $200. So I'm hoping I can get some decent money for this. There's not a stain on it, it's pretty. Like I mentioned, it's really soft. And if I didn't already have a blanket and a basket problem, I would maybe keep it for myself, but, that's everything I have for you guys today. There were two more things that I bought because I think it was around 75 items total. One is a book. It's currently on a shelf to my left right now and it's The Lion King on Broadway. That's the only play I've ever seen on Broadway and I loved it. I love The Lion King. It's my favorite Disney movie. Uh, so I got that for myself and then I got a um, like a trash can size wicker basket and I inverted it thanks Tina Lay for that. I will link her channel down below. She does a lot of great like boho DIYs and I used it as a plant stand in my bedroom. So trying to get all this listed soon so I can get the bags out of my living room. As you can see the pile is pretty tall. I'm sitting on the floor but it's higher than my couch. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching as always, and I'm going to try to be more consistent on this channel. I promise, promise, promise this time, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!